Okay, hey everybody, I am back and we're going to look into some love messages for this gentleman. Yeah, gentlemen. That's definitely a lot of complications when it comes to love. Um, for right now, I don't see any new um, new relationships or I don't even see the relationships going to the next level um, because they need to change. It's possible that that I won't even say possible. He's definitely dealing with someone right now and they are not growing. They are not going to new heights. They are not going to the new level because there needs to be a new spirit inside of this relationship. So there is a connection here. There's something going on here, but it's not growing, it's not moving, it's not changing, it's not evolving, and there is no action for that to happen. Very possible that he can be dealing with this Aquarius here or this Libra, possible, but there's no action, there's no purpose in taking this thing higher and deeper in love. I don't even know if the person that he's dealing with, I don't even think they are soulmates or have a strong chemistry with each other. So either this is him not desiring a relationship or this is him not desiring to take this partner serious. Very complicated when it comes to love. And until he deals with this wishy-washy attitude in relationships, he won't be able to grow into the relationship that he desires. It is very important that he balance out, that he learn how to be balanced with other people, not shifting and turning in the midst or in the deepness of something. So he's still learning lessons of love, still learning how to create happiness, still learning how to keep his integrity, keep his word, still learning how to um, be consistent and loyal. Yeah, still learning how to do all of that. Um, and he got a lot of unfinished business and debt when it comes to his love life. He may have to handle this Libra and deal with them or this Aquarius and deal with them. Or he just dealing with the behaviors and the debt and the low spirit and negativity of all relationships. And until he balances out and until he learns how to be consistent in the words that he speak, there will be no growth in his love life. So, yeah. This just feels like this type of person that has traveled a lot, traveled and trespassed many love partners. And I say many, it doesn't even have to be over three, but it's more than one and had no purpose and plan for the relationship. So the warning and the advice for him is to become balanced in the desires that he wants so he can be able to provide that in a relationship. Now, I looked at some past energies here of love life. I got this Virgo here. Um, he may have had a deep connection with a Virgo before and still working on releasing it, repairing it, or breaking some unhealthy cycles in this relationship. Um, but I have him internalizing love, but not releasing it, not letting it out. So it can be a big old happy carnival going on inside of him. And he's just in the bliss of love, happy and satisfied and enjoy. But I don't know if the partner will feel it because most of the most of the feelings and the perspective of love is inside of him. It's not on the outside. It's kind of hard to be with someone and say, only if you knew what I was thinking. And that's what it feels like when he's in relationships. It's like, only if you knew what I was thinking, you'll be so happy with me right now. But that is not communicated. And that's what's been happening in all these relationships. Not being able to communicate the inner things to a partner. And because of that, just looking in another direction instead of fighting that challenge or conquering that fear. 
I believe he's actually been happy in some relationships, but never been able to communicate it or release it. And because of that, that partner doesn't feel the real realness. Yeah. Is it love coming towards him? I believe that he is definitely involved in some third-party relationships. I don't see new love coming in towards him, but I do see more communication about third-party relationships, hookups and link-ups, um, temporary type experiences. I don't see true love coming in. I don't see honest love coming in or the desire for it. But we know that he keeps those secrets deep down inside of him. I see him needing to release a third party situation, release betrayal, release hurt, release lies, release pain. Um, but I do feel like more communication is coming in. So if he's in a relationship today, we have a third party here that's going to continue to come in with communication to get his attention. If we do not have him in a relationship, then we got more fun to go. And we got more um, hookups to go in and, and more excitement, but no love, no future, no new world, no new beginnings, no emotional honesty, no action to elevate, no balance to create a spiritual union. So this is all about choice. Although he's physically attractive, he doesn't feel spiritually attractive. Okay? So that's what I got here on his love life. You can email me at revealinghp at gmail.com if there's an artist or a host. Hollywood person, anybody at this point that you want me to do, uh, you can definitely uh, email me there. And if you would like to receive some of my personal messages, love, life, third party, anything that you need, you're welcome to email me with that too. So I'll be back and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.